do you want to tell us what do you think are the, the issues for LGBTQ plus people? Young people? Acceptance. Because like there still is like a massive thing of like coming out and you're worrying like who's going to accept me. Like will all my friends like not agree with it? Will get kicked out of the house? Like who, who can I come out to? Yeah, completely. And like whenever you're, you're thinking about that kind of stuff happening, um, it doesn't really matter if you have like a great family no. or a family that's that's not quite getting it yeah. or, or wherever in that spectrum. It's just it's it may cause that, which is yeah. a lot of fear, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. always gonna be in the back of your head no matter what. Mm-hmm. 100%. Um yeah, no, as like it, being excluded, feeling excluded a hundred percent is been something that's translated across the generations yeah. where the the fear maybe is seen as more real in re- whenever people are looking back to like when yeah. I was growing up. Yeah. Um, whereas, you know, now that we do have equal marriage and, and there's a little bit more of a, like a, an equality there, yeah. um, people sort of think, well, what's the big deal mm-hmm. then? But... Um, it's very, very true. You know, you've you've almost the, inherited the fears yeah. from from my generation, but then also that stuff that we were afraid of going on is still going on. Yeah. You know, like getting thrown out and and you know those other kinds of things yeah. and, and being excluded from like social groups, bullying. You know, it, it all really leads in. Um, I definitely think like mental health. Oh yeah. Um, it's a big issue that sort of comes off of that. Like being excluded yeah. leads to poor mental health, you know. Um, and there, there's a whole lot you can like you can chat about there because mental <laughs> yeah. health is like not that it's 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 in constantly in the dialogue, but it's in the dialogue, yeah. you know. Um, but what's not really in the dialogue is. Whenever you're excluded as a as LGBTQ plus person, yeah. whether in my my generation or your generation, um, from the likes of relationships and sexuality education, you you don't really learn much about your own body. No. Um, I don't know if you would agree with me, but it's like in one ear or the other. Yeah. Whatever it doesn't really yeah. be relevant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no, was especially in school, like if we were doing um. RA and it was like sexual orientation and stuff. It they basically just skip through like everything and we're just talking about like straight marriage. Yeah. And it was just stuff relating to people who are straight. Yeah. So a lot of young people, especially in school, wouldn't really like relate to it. Yeah, completely. Um I don't know about you, like I remember when I was in school and um we got taught we got taught about like cells and stuff like that and that kind of arena. Um but then you're sort of like, is this, if, if they're only talking about this, is that the only type of person that they are yeah. going to cater for? Am I less than because I'm not being yeah, included? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. Quite a lot of issues. Yeah. In school, even I know, like, we were only taught about like, contraception. And like how you get pregnant, but we weren't taught about any STIs. Like mm-hmm. I had no clue that common youth existed up until a couple of years ago, and that's like scary. Yeah. The many young LGBT people like won't know about that, and if they are like experimenting, like sex wise, like they need to get checks and be careful and yeah. just know what the crack is with their bodies. And like, I think it's it's probably something we're gonna agree on as well. Um, where youth organisations outside of like school are the ones doing our Yeah. Um, it almost seems as if teachers are scared to even go near that with a barge pole, you know. <laughs> 100%. It's like, yeah, well, we'll tell them about, you know, condoms, maybe, but we're not going to talk about the pill, yeah. we're not going to talk about the bar, we're not going to talk about any of that, we're just going to talk about this one thing that you know it's, it's yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah 100 percent like um i think from my generation generations before me 
uh, particularly in Northern Ireland, to be to have HIV um, or uh, to be LGBT, they were almost perceived as the same thing. Yeah. Um, and there was uh, like a there were a couple of ad campaigns that say that wrong, um, <laughs> which <laughs> you know they. They um they really did conflate the two um mm-hmm. with having uh, an STI um then also having being LGBT as well as being mentally unwell or perverse. So I think the I think in general there's a certain stigma about sex mm-hmm. in Northern Ireland. Yeah, people just don't want to talk about it. Um, but it, it gets even more intense when we're talking about LGBTQ plus people because uh, healthy relationships, sexual education, you know, talking to LGBTQ plus people, it's almost like tapping into some of those stigmas that started in my generation where, you know, these younger people uh, are being talked to about like deeply sexual issues, you know. Um, whereas RSE is not necessarily just about sex, yeah. it's about good relationships, healthy relationships and um, trying not to have people feel so alienated, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, like whenever you were in, uh, say, youth organisation getting RSE, um, what was that like it compared to your school experience? It was, it was just went more into depth about everything. Like in school, it was Catholic school, mm-hmm. so obviously you can imagine. <laughs> oh, I've, on the way, like they put it across, it was more like they were talking to you like a young person rather than a child. Yeah. And like school is more like don't do this until like you want to have a baby or until you're married. Mm-hmm. Whereas RSE is just like experiment, but be safe. Yeah, yeah. So it's rather. Rather than saying, just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you're going to do it, here is the knowledge so you can yeah. do it safely. Yeah, 110%. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And, that, and that's something, again, translating across the generations, youth organisations yeah. in, in my time were not as like in the know as now. Um, but they were more in the know than schools, yeah. you know. Um, I think that we're becoming more aware of HIV. Mm-hmm. We're becoming more aware of um, different STIs not being uh, not being something to be so deeply yeah. afraid of. Um, something to be prepared against, of course, a hundred percent, but not something to see as a bogeyman. Yeah. You know, it's not something to be terrified of when you're going to bed at night. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but also, like, I say, you can ask questions that you couldn't in school. Exactly, exactly. Like, I don't know about you, but like, whenever I was running with my wee crew, just <laughs> bopping about, um, there were there were a lot of like misconceptions yeah. and myths that like you know were just guessing at, and social media and, and yeah. the internet wasn't really big back then, so like. You couldn't get a straight answer. Yeah. Um, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Not a straight answer. <laughs> you couldn't get a gay answer. <laughs> um, very often, whenever you were searching, you know, um, especially when you got older, a yeah. lot of the terms were just like, "What?" That's... You need a dictionary. Yeah, you need a dictionary. Like growing up and getting to ask questions of adults really really important yeah um especially the ones that are trying to do so but like if i were to ask you what is the what is the myth that you uh, do you remember any particular myths whenever you were a younger person um before you did your rsc training that made you be like what Probably like if you use a public restroom, you can get pregnant. Say that later. If you use a public restroom, you can get pregnant. <laughs> I think that for the longest what? time. 
It's like, oh no, I can't even, I can't go into the Tesco's. <laughs> it's good to get home. But come here, isn't that madness as that well? Cool. Like, whenever Who we... thinks of these things? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if you think about it as well, like, public restrooms, they have a certain wee reputation about yeah. them. Do you know? A wee reputation for not being the most hygienic environments yeah. in the world and getting pregnant of that. So you're sort of, again, connecting lack of hygiene or being dirty with sex. Yeah. And that's that's almost like a trend, do you know? You've got, like, dirty and... Or dirty, unclean, those kinds yeah. of words connected <laughs> to the the act of sex or talking about it yeah. as being wrong. Yeah, yeah. Somehow. It's like... We don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 